We all know there is an overwhelming amount of hidden history in the world that is being completely ignored, but we don't necessarily know where to find the proper evidence to back up what we know. The more we find, the more they hide. Wait until you hear this one, guys. During the opening of a new international airport in Iraq, the transport minister made a stunning revelation. He claimed the first airport in the region was built 7,000 years ago and it was used by the ancient Sumerians on their interplanetary mission. Does that not just blow your mind or what? Can you imagine that for a second? Why would someone in this man's position make a stunning announcement like that if it were not true? Maybe in Iraq they are more in touch with the ancient past than we are in the West. I mean, this was during a press conference and he even stated that the airport, or spaceport, was used in the discovery of all the solar system planets we know of and also included the yet undiscovered planet Nibiru. It is refreshing to know that there are people all over the world with a deep interest in discovering our real ancient past, who we are and how we lost our collective consciousness in the distant past, and when did we start realizing the ancient structures on our world, are many thousands of years older than we are being led to believe. Sumerians inhabited what was Mesopotamia and were aided in developing this space station by visiting aliens according to the transport minister. He told baffling journalists, the first spaceport that was established on planet Earth was in this place. It was constructed 5,000 years before Christ. The particularity of this place is that it remains the safest for the landing and takeoff of aircraft due to favorable weather conditions. When the Sumerians settled on this land, they were aware of this and have chosen specifically for their flights to other planets. He is convinced he has found the proof for this theory. He goes on to say, I invite those who doubt me to read the book of the great Sumerian historian Zachariah Sitchin or the books of Samuel Kramer, including one entitled History Begins at Sumer which speaks of the first spaceport constructed on planet Earth and is there at El Nasiriya. What do you guys think? Could there really be an ancient spaceport in Iraq that we have still to discover? Maybe there are ancient Earth inhabitants still touring the stars today. You never know, right? We told you the truth may be stranger than you think. As always guys, thanks for watching and remember, the ways by which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves.